we have our uh, final recipient for the Jason Award this evening, Kathy Tyler. Second Vice President, Motivation, Education, and Training, Inc. of Caney, Texas. There she is. Kathy Tyler has worked in the affordable housing development and finance field for more than 40 years. That can't be. That, that, that can be. Uh-huh. I know it. There's a misprint. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. In neighborhood, urban, and rural settings, farm workers have uh, been a consistent target and beneficiary of her efforts. Kathy's efforts have resulted in 370 improved farm workers occupied units, development of 100 multifamily units for farm workers, and statewide summits that brought about collaborations and initiatives that helped Texas rural residents. Kathy led the uh, National McCauley Institute leading efforts from 1989 to 2003, focusing on women's leadership in housing through training, lending, and capacity building. She managed McCauley's $14 million in uh, lending through its Community Development Financial Institute. About uh, 250 nonprofit developers were assisted. Kathy serves on the boards of the National Rural Housing Coalition, uh, Housing Works of Austin, the Foundation for Expanding Horizons, and the Loan Committee for Mercy Housing Partnership. She has a master's degree in social work from the University of Texas at Austin and also earned her bachelor's degree at UT. There you go. Oh, thank you very much. It's, it's very... It's very, very much an honor and very humbling to be in front of all of my mentors and heroes. It's uh, an amazing group of people here. Um, and I'd like to dedicate this award to all the farm workers across America and especially those uh, uh, Texas farm workers. It, it's alarming that farm workers still do not earn enough money from their backbreaking work to afford a decent home. Um, farm workers own, earn only 36% of the poverty level, even though they do this backbreaking, difficult work, and it's shameful. I wish I could report more success that it resulted from all of our day to day work, uh, but all I can say is there are a few folks who now have working bathrooms, who have uh, whose homes are warm during the winter and not too hot during the summer. And maybe some children can escape respiratory illnesses and miss, a few, uh, miss fewer days at school. And for me, it's a true honor to be invited into their lives. My life has been blessed with all and inspiring people. And time and time again, I get to see people's lives transformed. I get to observe unsung heroes who accomplish miraculous feats. And many of us have done this together over many, many years. And I'd like to pay tribute tonight to all the mentors who have helped me over, um, over time, many of them in this room, uh, including the staff from Housing Assistance Council. I should be like Earl and name all of them, but I thought that, that I would, Joe and, and Moises and all the staff, and really we would be here five minutes longer if I named all the staff. The, the members of the National Rural Housing Coalition, which is, uh, has always motivated and inspired me, as well as my colleagues from MET, and they're not here because they're back home working and letting me take all the credit for all the hard work they do. Um, Macaulay Institute, Joanne and, and Maggie are here tonight, and Eileen, uh, helped, was with Macaulay for many years. Um, I learned so much from, from my colleagues and from the people I worked with. Um, and I look around and I remember how much I've relied on so many of you for inspiration, guidance, and the practical know-how over many years. So with that in mind, I'd sort of like to encourage 
if there's any, still any younger folks in the, in, in the audience tonight, the younger generation to seek out mentors. And I encourage you to not just reach out to the academics and the uh, professionals, but also to reach out to those folks that we work for, the farm workers and the low-income people and the people that you really serve to, to you really strive to serve. Because I promise you, you'll share this joy of seeing unsung heroes accomplish mystifying feats. And they will show you wisdom and they will make your work fun and very joyful. I'd also like to pay tribute to my fellow Texans here tonight and back home. I think we're primed to see some back, uh, some breakthrough successes soon, and in, in a state where it's not easy, where it's very difficult, and it takes us a long time to see breakthroughs, but they do come. And I'd like to end with a quote from the journalist um, Edward, M., Edward R. Murrow. Uh, he concluded his farm worker report titled Harvest of Shame that aired around Thanksgiving in 1960. Uh, quite a few years ago. And I, especially to my Texas friends, I think this is uh, an appropriate quote to end with. The people you saw in this broadcast have the strength to harvest our fruits and vegetables. They do not have the strength to influence legislation, but maybe we do. Thank you very much. <laughs>